of us is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, you know, thank you for the support. Um, and I hope everybody's having a blessed week and had a relaxing weekend. I know I did because I took time off. I really needed that. So I hope you had the same as me. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when you're about to upload, when I'm about to upload my next video. Not you, but me. Y'all, it's Monday, so I'm going to give that excuse. Uh, and um, if you are comfortable now please drop me a line or two i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empath the gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction and if you feel like the video is very informative to you and it gives you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or a fellow empath that needs spiritual guidance or just needs confirmation or validation towards the life path or soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And this beautiful meditation music I'm listening in the background is called 528 Hertz. Light music, like music for the soul, absolute tranquility, drift away with the tones of peace and harmony. Oh, it's like a cow gone bath that can take you away. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's at the path of breaking karmic bonds. And why is it so important to experience? You know, I was looking at a meditation, um, you know, music I put in my playlist. Because it's like I tried different ones to be able to, you know, being able to get a positive video. Being able to have positive frame of mind as well as, you know, the music behind us. You know what I'm saying? you know, car, you know, uh, karmic bonds, you know, and I'm just like, oh, breaking car karmic bonds, because I was like, dang, you know what, and I got like four or five pages worth of different content that I always go through, you know, with my little Hayoka book, so I try to go ahead and write down, you know, a lot of things that comes to mind that, you know, the universe wants me to shed light on, and it's like a lot of times we are in, stuck right now, because like I said, um, if you've been with me for a while, I know a lot of y'all have been with me almost a year. Some some of y'all have been with me for like probably six to seven months, which is like, you know, even for the shorter period, for y'all to be in, you know, the people I know for almost over a year, they've changed drastically. But the ones that, you know, came to me that were, really thought like, oh, you know what, I'm a hot mess. You know, it's going to take a lot for me to heal. Y'all did a 360. You know, you just, y'all don't give yourself credit for it. You know, I'm so proud of everybody that I, you know, in contact with and I'm proud of the people I haven't even met yet but it's like a lot of us are going through trying times and it's just like going through those karmic bonds like I said we are going to be the ones who uh, sever that generational curse and the uh, karmic cycles we are but the purpose for these you know drastic situations like me I'm in a toxic situation with me and my ex you know we we have a living arrangement it's not as bad as it used to be because I used to allow so many things to get to me you know so many things that he would do you know to be able to gaslight or whatever but nobody can't really you know piss you off unless you allow them to because a lot of times you have to be able to see you know being able to play the cards that you're dealt with you know you can have like if you're playing spades or whatever kind of card pinochle or whatever you know you might have a good hand right there you know I have to be a crappy hand but sometimes you have to be able to you know what well, I forgot what they use to try you gotta have a poker face you know being able to oh I got you know five possible six books you know whatever and then knowing you probably got only two you have to be able to play that hand you know what you're dealt with just be able to sometimes you gotta fool the fool Think they fooling you to be able to be fooled when you're not being a fool you know what i'm saying so it, it's just like a lot of times you have to go through crazy situations like that but it's just like i know people that are connecting with me that are dealing with narcissistic situations and they're still you know trying to get that concept like why am i going through this why do i have to you know deal with this you know i'm trying to get up out of this situation but everything is cut off i said universe 
is sitting you here, placing you here, because not for you to be able to change that situation, but allow that situation to be able to change you. You know, it's supposed to be able to allow you to know that you're going to take your power back. Just because these per these people are doing this, that, and the third, you ain't got to sit up here and worry about what they're doing. As long as you know you're healing yourself and you're not allowing this person to take your power you know, you're going to be fine. You know, there's a lot of things that I'm going through and it's just like, you know, oh yeah, Rosalind, you think positive, you know, do positive things. You end up having so many blessings coming towards you. But when, you know, the devil like to play dirty and so does God. God got a little dark sense of humor as well. You know, because I don't see the history in the making. I don't see certain things that, you know, that, gonna happen in front of me i'm like you know y'all wrong for that you know y'all so wrong for that and god be like i don't know what you're talking about you know i'm like okay i bet you don't you know i'm trying to be with god like this okay i got you but you have to understand a lot of times the hell hands were being dealt may piss us off at that time might have a stupefied or kind of like stuck for that minute trying to find out why am i in this situation number one you don't probably seen them red flags and try to figure that, oh, you know, I give my love. You know, I prove to them that I can do this and this and that. It can change them. Number one, the only person you can change is you. The other people, if they want to change, they have to do that on their own regardless. You can't make somebody change when they don't want to change. You know, we, well, a lot of us deal with that. And there's a lot of people I've been connecting with. You know, there are some of them I don't part ways with because they want to allow to say, well, you know, can that person change? I said, you know what? What? If they're going to change, they would have did it by now. You know, you have to be able to part ways with people when you actually have that lead time. That's why I be telling so many people, part ways when you can, because when you can't, you're going to be stuck until God decides to let you get out of that situation. There's so many red flags that's been put up in, in front of your face, and you try to feel like your love and your guidance can be that person and make that person love you the way you're supposed to be loved. Number one, a person that loves you are, is not going to hurt you. Well, a person that loves you, will hurt you but it won't be on purpose you know everybody is not perfect you know there's people that actually really care for you you know this out there somewhere trying to fix themselves right at that point, moment because there's a lot of people like Rosalind you know I don't think love is out there for me or I got all this healing to do yeah and I guarantee you the people that God is going to orchestrate to be in your life for you to be able to love them and them love you there's some people fixing themselves right now too so on the situations why you're in it and why you had experienced this stuff is because there's a lot of things that in our life that need work, need to be all aligned at one thing, you know, because we can have, you know, that, you know, we can have that smart, smartness, whatever, but you lack confidence and love, love for yourself, or you don't have faith in something. Or you don't have patience and things. That's the reason why we're being placed in certain situations right now. To where you'll be far apart. You can even be, you know, working with your twin flame right now. And you're trying to be able to get into that, that union with your twin flame. Either your twin flame might be in a, a situation with itself. Because there are some twin flames that, you know, I've seen questions out there. What if I find out I have the twin flame and they're dating somebody else or they're in a marriage for somebody else? And I always try to tell people. Hey, if they're married to somebody else, and if it, that's the person they're supposed to be with, a lot of times, you know, you have to go through that cycle, you know, where, you know, you they're supposed to be married, and then all of a sudden, you know, if it's meant for y'all to be together, I guarantee you, whoever they're with is being repulsed. <laughs> they're being repulsed by that situation, and they're working on themselves within that situation. Because there's a lot of times we try to run from situations. Believe me, there's times where I sit up here and say, I will lay in my car. Before I allow this, whatever this is that I'm dealing with, get to me like that. But God made sure that didn't happen. Now, I'm going to cut you off from doing any of those different things. I want you to stay right here. And I want you to allow this situation to fix you where you need to be fixed. You can't fix that person, but you're going to add, uh, you know, your attitude on how you project on seeing things. This whole situation is going to uh, going to enhance your, you, you know, your whole frame of mind. And, you know, a lot of people be looking at me like, what the what? And it's so, so true because it's just like when I first started this journey, I was with my ex since I was 21 years old, 21 years old now, 22. Yeah. Going 21, going on 22. I'm 42 now. Okay. That's a long ass time. <laughs> long ass time to be learning something. I was kind of slow. That's all right, because you know what, Rosalind seen all the red flags she needed to see, but I choose to ignore them. You know, people were telling me the same thing, Rosalind, get away, you know, this is not good for you. Even when I moved to a different state, it followed me. Like the movie, It Follows, It Followed, you know, but it was like he was there 
when nobody else wasn't for me, you know, and all those different things, you know, so I blessed, you know, I, even though, you know, he, he has his moments or whatever, he allows people to see what he wants them to see. That's fine. You know, that's those folks that, you know, I ain't got nothing to do with that, but he was actually there when my family wasn't, when my so-called family wasn't. So all these different things has occurred in my life, but I can at least say through this toxic situation where me and this man are connected to, it has brought me so many blessings of strength, of self-love, self-confidence in myself. Even though I'm still struggling with certain things, I'm ready to get the hell out of this situation, but I know that God still has me to learn some more experiences through this dark situation. That's why I try to get people to understand when you're in situations, don't blame that person because you've seen what that person was like don't sit up here and tell me you ain't seen the red flags you were getting when you were with those people because you did see them you choose not to intervene on it and that was just like the universe allowed you to see these things that's why a lot of times you know when i connect with people and they're having struggles with the people they're dealing with i try to use my situation you know for that example like hey <laughs> if you ain't got no attachments with this person you know, y'all can move, you can move and, you know, get your own place. Please do that before it gets worse because I'm in a situation where God made sure I ain't got no kind of daggone financial, you know, and, you know, to be able to fall back on and get the heck on because he already knew I would have been gone a long time ago if I didn't. But this situation has helped me look at certain situations like, yeah, I don't like the situation I'm in, but it's taught me a lot of good things that I needed to learn. You know, when you have so many failed relationships, you have to go through that true heartbreak before you can experience true love in your life. You have to understand that as well. You know, if you know you, you're at that time where, you know, you really want somebody special in your life to love you like you would love somebody else. You want that same thing just to have a hidden agenda. You know, this person is not, you know, toxic. You know, this person is loving you for you, being that supporter, being that caregiver, being able to be that cheerleader, you know, that your best friend. All of this wrapped up in one, you know, hearty goodness. You know, you have to be able to experience all those dark times because all the failed relationships you've had, you'll learn, you'll learn the goodness and the lessons and blessings through all those failed relationships. So when you finally, God finally blesses you and universe orchestrates that person that you truly need to be with, you're going to learn everything that you needed to learn from all those relationships you had that didn't work out right to learn not to do this in your relationship. It has to be built on communication has to be able to be built on trust, love, no interior motives, you know, being able to say what you're going to accept, what you're not going to accept, but also be that person that will, you know, compromise as well. You know, all these different things in your situation that you had to go through these karmic cycles. You had to be able to love yourself, being able to have faith and confidence in yourself as well as the universe to be able to know, even though it might be raining sometimes, or, you know, in your situation, or it seems like, you know, it's very dark, doesn't mean it's going to stay that way, but you have to be able to heal, being able to know, don't allow uh, the actions of somebody else affect your way of thinking, affect your way of doing things, don't allow yourself to back up, because there's a lot of times he would do certain things, and I would stop myself, like, I don't even feel like doing nothing today, I just allow him to stop my flow, you don't never let nobody stop your flow. You keep on doing what you need to do. Even though that mess might piss you off, use that energy of you being angry to be able to do something positive in your life and not allow what somebody else is doing because I guarantee you they are over there cuckooing and laughing at you because they were able to, you know, trigger you like that. You know, when you're out here and you're projecting, hey, you know, I'm going through this and you're constantly talking about those people, you're allowing whatever they did to still carry on and allow them, other people to know this still is affecting you. Because if it's not affecting you, you won't allow yourself to sit up here and say, this person did that, this person did that. All you can sit up here and say, you know, like with my situation, I might not like how everything is going, but like I said to anybody else, this situation was blessing to me. Because number one, now I see who this person truly is. The people he's trying to project those situations on is the people he wants them to be able to see. Because if they see the things that I see, they'll be like, you know what? Rosalind tried to tell me. And I'm just like, no, you know, they're going to be able to go through that situation like I did. You know, because it's like when you're dealing with somebody in a narcissistic relationship, they choose to deal with people that might feel like they're broken at one time because there were certain situations I was in where I was an okay person but I had to go through that situation I knew there was other people that he dealt with that said you know I never went through this until I met him I never went through this until I met him and you know it opens up a lot of things that you had to learn about yourself 
you know, you had to learn about, you know, other people, things tend to project and actually help you heal. Cause it was like, before I used to always say, he did this, he did that, he did this, he did that. Now I'm just saying, you know what? I'm glad I went through this situation because it allowed me to love myself, being able to know I'm snatching my powers back. And he probably still looking for his edges over there. I really don't care, you know, but it was just like, you know, I had to sit up here and say, you know, I hate it when somebody's trying to block me on my blessings and all these different things. But then it's like, they can't block you unless you give them that power to block you. You know, a lot of times certain situations got to occur for you to be able to sit up here and see the true picture, the bigger picture on how everything is that's going on in your life to be able to know why am I experiencing this in the first place. We have to be able to go through those dark relationships for us to be able to see that we had power to begin with, but we gave it to another person. We keep on trying to feel like, well, when we heal ourselves, if we show them enough love, they'll be able to do what we want them to do. No. <laughs> you have to be able to be able to, you only can help yourself. You can send somebody love all the time. And it's like, even though during my dark times, my dad being my twin flame, anytime I would cry, he would come flying as a father would do, a real father would do. You know, he wants to protect me. But there's times when I finally seen things for what they truly were and I'll start crying. He would be there like I'm here. And I'm like, I appreciate that, but I have to be able to do this on my own. I really appreciate you coming and support me and trying to save the day, but I have to be able to save myself. You know, you can't keep you know you can give somebody love but it takes their love they have to be able to feel that inside a lot of people try to find you know there's a void missing out of your life so we try to fill it with other people but you're never going to be satisfied because that's something you have to find internally you know a lot of people do that you know like you know, I'll tell people I connect with. There's some people say, Rosalind, I'm lonely. Hell, I'm lonely too. I don't sit up here, you know, over a year being abstinent, celibate. I'm, you know, I'm, you know, sexually deprived now. That You know how folks get when they get attitudes and everything popping off. But I'm going to be okay. I'd rather have, go through that moment and use that, you know, that frustration to, you know, sing, dance, go walking or something like that. I find something to do, you know. But I'm okay because I'm not giving and submitting myself to somebody who doesn't have that pure energy that I'm looking for within somebody else. I'm trying to find this in myself. I'm doing soul searching right now. I'm doing the soul healing right now. So, you know, while I'm doing that, it's just like, you know, I know God got some a soul made out there waiting for me. So it's just like, I know I get temptation all the time. I'm like, I ain't trying to do all that now. You know, if you don't make my heart skip a beat, I already know it's not going to work. They said, well, dad, you ain't giving it a chance. I'm an empath. I already know this is going to be a waste of my time and I ain't trying to waste your time. So, you know, thank you, but no thank you. You know, and you have to be able to do that. You know, there's a whole, all these situations that we have been placed in. It's allowing you to be able to see yourself, see the capability in yourself, seeing the things that the universe is trying to teach you through this dark situation that you can clearly get yourself out of. Like I tell people, everybody got a role to play. You're supposed to be that superhero. There's always going to be an evil villain. Now, everything is exactly how they see it. You know, you can sit up here and be watching, like, I forgot, like, uh, what is it, Laura Croft or craft or whatever that thing is you know angelia jolie played for that video game or whatever everything wasn't you know she had to go all through these certain situations but everything is what it seemed because when you finally get towards the end it was totally opposite of what you were like oh that's how it's going to be for you so you have to be able to learn all these things you're going to be able to heal yourself because it's like god in the universe will orchestrate certain things that can happen in your life to be able to trigger like that aha moment for you so when you're allowing yourself to know this is just a role you had to play for that moment. Don't allow this this little situation stop you and make you give up on things that they're trying to, you know, be able to bless you with because you're just struggling with the certain situation that's in your face. You know, if the you know the person you're with, you're starting to, uh, stuck in a certain relationship with or a certain situation with them. You have to be able to know. Don't ever stop your flow just because somebody else is doing something. You know, and it gets us upset when people. You know, they fly off want to show people the victim. You already know dealing with narcissistic situations. They will play victim because they can be able to deceive people like that. You already seen them for what they are. So allow them to be able to do that. As long as you know that's not who you are, you know, you have to be able to take it for what it's worth. And be, you know, just like, you know what? This is a distraction. Anything that's coming towards you in a negative type of vibe or negative situation is always going to be a distraction to you. Never let yourself get distracted and keep your eyes focused on your prize that you're working hard for. And know that you're going to break that, that, that bond, that cord with that, you know, that 
cosmic bond. So I already know that you're going to get through this. You got to have faith in yourself, have a faith in the universe. This, this is going to be that lifelong lesson that you had to be able to achieve in this situation to be able to get your power back, your self-love and your self-respect and your self-worth. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video and hope, you know, this can be able to give you some kind of enlightenment towards the situation that you're in right now. I know it did for me. So much love to you. I'm going to go ahead and give me a post notification shout out to beat them back and chef disaster much love chef disaster keep speaking your truth i love you and your channel um y'all go ahead and uh try to go over to uh chef exact uh disaster over on his channel i'm gonna go ahead and put his link on here and i hope everybody stays blessed have a blessed week you know give you the strength that you have to get through to get through your week and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can you never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way and know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all all the time. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I will see you in my next video. Much love. Peace.